All right, let's practice finding the area of complex figures. Now, if we're finding the area of squares or perimeters, we can find out the area of these more complex figures as well. Okay, so, so what we need to do is split this figure into two smaller figures. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to split this right here. So now I have an 8 by 7 rectangle and I have an 8 by 6 rectangle. Now I'm going to find the area of each. So for this figure, I will do 8 times 7, which equals 56. And then on the other rectangle, I will do 8 times 6, which equals 48. So am I done? No. What do I need to do? I have two separate areas. I need to combine them. So my last step will be to add them, to put them together to find that total area. So we add it up. 6 plus 8 is 14. Carry my 1. 5 plus 4 is 9. Plus 1 more is 10. So my area is 104 centimeters squared. All right, next one. Let's split up this figure. And how you split it is up to you, okay? Um, if it's easier to split it one way as opposed to another, that's fine, okay? I'm going to split it this way, okay? So this smaller rectangle here, I will do 3 times 8, which equals 24. That's the area of that figure. For my larger rectangle, that will be 9 times 8, and that equals 72. So now I add it, 72 plus 24. We're breaking it up into a simpler problem, two smaller problems, instead of trying to figure it out all at once. 7 plus 2 is 9. So the area of this total figure is 96 centimeters squared. All right, next one. Okay, how do I want to split this one? Okay, I can split it two different ways, and I'm thinking I am going to split it like this. Okay, so this rectangle here is 9 times 5, which equals 45. And then I have to do the large rectangle here, which is 13 by 7. So 13 times 7. Yes, it's larger, but that's okay. It's still easier than trying to figure it out all at once. So 3 times 7 is 21. Carry the 2. 7 times 1 is 7, plus 2 more is 9. So now I add 91 plus 45, and I get 136 meters squared. Next one. All right, how do I feel like cutting up this rectangle? I think I'm going to cut it this way. Okay, now again, if you would have preferred to cut it this way, that's fine. Okay, and I'm looking at it. Which way do I feel like cutting it? I think I might cut it this way instead. There's no wrong way. Okay, you can cut it into either of the two rectangles. So my first rectangle is 9 times 6, which equals 54. My larger rectangle is 18 times 8. 8 times 8 is 64. Put down the 4, carry the 6. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 6 is 14. So I need to add 114, I'm sorry, 144 and 54. 4 plus 4 is 8, 4 plus 4, 4 plus 5 is 9, 
and 1 plus nothing is 1, so 198 meters squared. Next one, okay, I'm going to cut it this way, okay, mm, and I'm looking at it, I like this 10 over here, so you know what, I'm going to cut it this way, so I have this rectangle, which is 7 times 10, because I love my 10s, so that gives me 70, and then I have a square over here. So this would be 7 times 7, which equals 49. And then I add 70 plus 49, which equals 119 millimeters squared. Next one. Okay. Which way do I feel like cutting it? All right. I'm going to cut it this way. So my bottom rectangle is 5 times 6, which equals 30. And then my top rectangle will be 12 times 7. 7 times 2 is 14, carry the 1, 7 times 1 is 7, plus 1 more is 8. So we have 84 plus 30. Why are we adding them? Because we split them into two smaller figures, and now we have to put it back together to get the complete number. And 8 plus 3 is 11. So my area for this one is 114 millimeter squared. Next one. All right. I'm going to cut this one right here. Okay. So I have nine times seven, which equals 63. And then I have the smaller rectangle, which is two times seven. What is two times seven? That's 14. And then I put it together. 63 plus 14 equals 77 meters squared. Next one. All right, I'm going to slice it this way. So my first rectangle is 10 times four, which equals 40. And my other rectangle is 5 times 8, which equals 40. So I add 40 plus 40, which gives me 80. This is 80 square miles. All right, let's split up this rectangle. Well, figure into two smaller figures. Okay, so I actually have a square here. So it's seven times seven, which equals 49. Then I have this rectangle over here. Okay, we don't worry about that 16 because that 16 is that length of that whole thing. So I do nine times four, which equals 36. What do I do with the 49? And the 36, I add them. So 9 plus 6 is 15. I carry the 1. 3 plus 4 is 7. Plus 1 more is 8. So my area is 85 centimeters squared. Let's do one more. Okay, I'm going to split it this way. So my first rectangle is 11 times 9. And 11 times 9 is 99. And then my next rectangle is 5 times 8. And 5 times 8 equals 40. So I'm taking 99 plus 40, adding it up, and I get 
139 kilometers squared. Great work.